Hey, hey man, I'm just wondering, where are these? Are these something that I should be concerned about? Um, geez, they look, they look yellowish. Is this something I should worry about? Collectibles, another, uh, let's do another commemorative. One of the things that I, I, I rarely see, commemorative coins, uh, for, and especially something like this one, Franklin Delano Roosevelt Commemorative Coin Program, before my time, before my time. I never knew Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Um, there is the certificate authenticity. Oh, what is that? Gold, $5 proof, and uncirculated coin set. And there is a certificate of authenticity on it. And, yeah, and packaging was good, right? We open it up. And gold. All right, so see if I can get them out of here. Let's start with the uncirculated first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Let's see if we can zip it in a little bit and get it in there. There you go, there's a, the uncirculated version. Oh, I do like that, don't you? I love that pattern, love the detail in that pattern. Okay, there's the uncirculated. And here is the proof. Let me know if you think the proof looks better than the uncirculated down below in the comments. Or if you have this coin. And why did I say, or if you have this coin? Because from what I'm looking for, the two coin set, uh, only 8,725 were produced. Jeez. Um, total coins, 41,368. Wow. So, very uncommon. Very uncommon coin set for me to, to uh, come across my desk. You are um, pressing around, um, say about one thousand two hundred dollars or so. Uh, probably about an ounce there for the stackers, which they come around and they say, eh, or I should say half an ounce, right? About a thousand dollars. We're going to price this about a thousand dollars to see where it ends up um, as it moves on from my desk to the next owner's desk. And, uh, but, gee, I thought I'd share this with you because I don't see these very often. You know, dancers, collectibles, we see it all the time. Coins. Oh, let me bring them in a little bit better. Coins. Coins. Gold coins. Coins.